How's it going everyone? It's Awana Turtle and today we're doing something a little bit different. We are going to be talking about my jungle collection as far as PSA graded cards go. Uh, but we do have a couple announcements, so I'm gonna put these off to the side real quick. And so I was going walking, looking through some of my stuff and basically um, at one point I did play the online game. However, I haven't and then I eventually stopped and so over time I kind of built up a lot of code cards and so I did want to start uh, distributing to people that kind of like support the channel and another announcement is that I have started to post on my Instagram account link is in the description so if you do play the game and you are looking to get some more codes uh, you can either just basically drop a comment in any of the videos and if it's through YouTube I'll just post on your pages discussion page which is kind of public facing so another easy way to do it is just um, post a comment on one of my Instagram posts or uh, send me a direct message on Instagram and I can send it to you that way if you'd prefer so now that's out of the way let's talk about jungle so jungle is really nostalgic to me um, I kind of started collecting towards the probably midway through the base set and then so jungle came out and that was like uh i was act starting to collect although i was pretty young back then so i didn't really have much money to do so so this is very nostalgic for me and a set that i i feel like is kind of underappreciated so starting off we're going through the PSA 9 first edition. Uh, PSA 10 is a little too pricey for me at the moment, so I have not really delved into that. Uh, so, but for the PSA 9 first edition, while I don't have the full set yet, I am doing pretty good as far as getting there. So, so far we have all the cards. We got, uh, so Jungle was the first set where they introduced the Evolutions, which was pretty epic. And some new ones like Mr. Mime. So I do have two of the Pidgeotos, which is nice. And so one card that we are missing, uh, basically it's number five, is the Kangaskhan. And I'm noticing that the lighting isn't that great for this kind of video. Uh, but that Kangaskhan is very expensive. Uh, uh, from what I understand, it's just a very difficult card to get graded. Uh, we're gonna continue, we got Scyther. Snorlax, the first, um, actually most, a lot of these are the first introduction, uh, their first appearance. Uh, so Scyther was pretty epic, although the card itself was kind of underwhelming, in my opinion. Snorlax, another cool one. And then the last evolution is Vaporeon. So a couple cards that I am missing um, would be, I think it's Victory Bell, Venomoth, uh, there might be Wigglytuff. Um, one interesting thing is that this one is actually mislabeled where they're both, it's the same card but one says 14 and one says 15. Uh, and so that's what we have as far as the first edition set. So I'm still missing maybe like four cards. Um, and then we just move to Unlimited Jungle. Where this one we do have the Kangaskhan. I don't remember how much this one costs, but definitely getting it a 10 is very expensive. I think that's one of the ones where there's the population is just so low. And so the unlimited PSA 9 set is going pretty well as well. However, it has there's more gaps than in the first edition one. Uh, I haven't been working on this one very actively. In fact, it's been a while since I've added to this collection. And so, one really cool thing about Jungle that, to be honest, I didn't even know about until very recently is that there was a print run where they did not put a symbol, a Jungle symbol, on the cards. So they kind of put that called the No Symbol Set. And I didn't even know that existed, so I thought that was so cool. Uh, you know, base which is the most popular or probably the uh, as far as the sets go obviously the most expensive you know they have the first edition then they have shadowless then they have unlimited and jungle is different but it's it, it does have that special one where, where I would compare like the no symbol kind of like shadowless where it's it's not first edition however it is special so I do have some of this stuff for the no symbol however these are our PSA 8 just because uh, of it's slightly rare is my understanding uh, I kind of consider these like error cards and then so this one is a PSA 10 but it's not hollow and this one's really cool as well because this was the um, non-hollow electrode however you'll notice that 
Let me just find another electrode. It's a different art. So this is actually the art from the base set electrode versus this is the jungle. So this card is actually very, um, very cool. And this one happens to be first edition PSA 10, which I think is really cool. And this one is definitely uh, an error card. You can't really deny that one. It's literally using the wrong picture. Uh, so there you have it. That's my where things stand for myself as far as the jungle collection goes uh, it's I wouldn't say it's very high on my priority list as far as getting done um, and when it comes to getting the uh, I would say the cards that are left are kind of on the pricier end especially that Kangaskhan uh, to get that first edition nine um, so a little something different and if you did enjoy these kinds of videos definitely uh, hit that like button uh, it'll kind of tell me that I can continue to kind of do these kind of things and show off some more of the graded collection um, other than that thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the content hit that subscribe button hit that bell so you do get notified for new uploads and follow me on Instagram the link is in the description um, and if you are do play the online game just hit drop a comment or uh, whether it's on Instagram or or YouTube and I'll be sending you codes um, they could be most of them should be from the Sun and Moon sets uh, however they'll be sprinkled throughout other than that thanks for watching guys um, it's our Wanna Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time later